I am Douglas Day and I am the Archangel um, and I am a bug bounty hunter here on HackerOne. I got started hacking while I was actually working at a company that ran a bug bounty program and part of my job was triaging and handling reports that were coming in and after a couple months of handling those bugs and learning from them I thought actually you know what I could, I, I could probably do this. New companies are spinning up all the time um, and starting new bug bounty programs and so the types of bugs that I find are always new and, uh, and refreshing and sort of itch that uh, creative aspect in my brain. Live hacking events have definitely made me a stronger hacker um, just because of how social and collaborative the nature of hacking is. Making the connections I've made at live hacking events has given me a lot of uh, people to bounce ideas off of, a lot of uh, new techniques, um, and a lot of resources to lean on for help. This year I'd really like to find my first RCE or uh, remote code execution. I've gone about a year and a half without finding an RCE and so I think it's, I'm well overdue. RCEs are sort of the golden goose of vulnerabilities. They're uh, something that's always talked about in the news. They're something that's very sought after. They pay very well um, and yet they're, they're still very difficult to find. And so it's just a, a bug that I haven't found yet and so that sort of adds a special mysticism and allure to it. I actually got my current job uh, after hacking on a on a particular program and becoming one of their top ranked hackers and so uh, some of their some of the other hackers in the program and the hacker one program manager actually recommended me for the position and so I, uh, I have to credit hacker one for getting me my current job I just actually bought a house this year uh, thanks to bug bounty money exclusively so it actually took me a year I saved up every single bounty for over a year before buying my house and it, it's very rewarding having, uh, having just made that purchase. I got my first invite to my first live hacking event while I was at the gym and I was actually having a very tough day and I was having a hard time hitting my lifts but then I got a huge burst of energy as soon as I got the email on my phone. I saw it and then I was, it just powered me through the rest of my workout so it was, a, it was definitely a bit of a, an emotional high. I feel like it, it sort of hit a milestone in my bug bounty career where no longer was I just a hobbyist. It became a solid part of, of who I am, uh, my, my social groups, and uh, kind of set my career into, into high gear. One of the absolutely critical uh, things about making a good bug bounty team, especially for, during the live events, is to have regular uh, calls over Google Hangouts, over Skype, over uh, over Slack, whatever, and just do the don't only do the hacking asynchronously, but sit down together uh, virtually and uh, start poking at different different parts and communicate in real time. And that has that has absolutely made our uh, our team stand out. The best piece of advice that I can give for hackers in training is to start on the, uh, the less active programs. I would say try to find the programs that haven't been touched in a while, the ones that have probably pushed out lots of uh, code updates and haven't been, uh, that haven't been looked at. Um, start there, get your first couple of bounties, your first little bit of reputation, and then as the private programs come in, uh, just uh, dig really deep into the private programs because they're usually a bit more exclu uh, exclusive and a bit less competitive. I definitely want to thank uh, my wife and my daughter for having the patience for me to, uh, to spend all night hacking, uh, especially leading up to the events. It's definitely, it definitely takes over your life a bit, but they've, uh, they've been extremely patient with me. They like to brag about me. My, my <laughs> wife is a high school teacher and she sort of has used uh, her relationship with me as a, to kind of inspire these, these high school students who haven't quite decided what they want to do with their career. And so now several of them have to uh, told her that they want to go into uh, security after she tells them, you know, what I'm doing here in uh, in San Francisco or what I did in Vegas. So it's it's been a really cool experience seeing seeing her inspire the next generation of hackers just by her relationship with me.